Magic Number Part 3, The Time Saver. A little review. Last time we discovered powers of 10 with positive exponents move the decimal in which direction? 1.0 times 10 to the second equals 100. Which direction did the decimal point move? Negative exponents move the decimal in which direction? 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3 equals 0 0.0012. Which direction did the decimal point move? How do you multiply powers of 10? Let's multiply these two numbers. 1.0 times 10 to the first, which is just 10, but we're going to use this as an example, times 2.6 times 10 to the second. First thing we do is we multiply the numbers and then we add the exponents to get 2.6 times 10 to the 3. Dividing with powers of 10. How do we divide by powers of 10? The rule of exponents for division states that for powers of the same base, base 10 for example, you can have base 10, base 2, or base 3, but as long as the base is the same, you can do this. The exponent of the denominator, which is the number on the bottom, is subtracted from the exponent of the numerator. Change the sign of the exponent when moving it from the denominator to the numerator. So in this case, we subtract 2 from 1. So this equals 0.1. Let's try it. Hello. We're going to try multiplying these two numbers. Again, base 10. The reason it's called base 10 is when you look at these, they have the same base. That's important. If this was a 3 and not a 10, you couldn't do this. Okay. Again, I'll put on my thinking cap because we're doing math. I know you're asking why are we doing math and science. But science works with really big numbers. And this is an easy way to deal with big numbers. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply these numbers. So 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8, right? 2 times 2 is 4. Yes, I made it easy. 2 times 2 is 4. Bring this down, right? 8. 8 and 4 is 12. Carry the 1. So that's 5. Oops. Okay. And we have two decimal points. So that means 1, 2. So our decimal point goes right there. Now let's deal with the exponents. What do we do to the exponents? Do you remember? We add them, right? Add the exponents. So this becomes 5.28 times 10 to the 15. There's 7 and 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. I'll be right back. I'm back. Ta da! Alright, so let's try it again. Let's go 7.2 times 8.3, and let's go ahead and put some base 10 numbers on here, about 10 to the second and 10 to the third. Now, you're thinking, why is this easier to multiply this way? Well, let's try it the other way. So. 7.2 times 10 to the second is, remember we're going to move this decimal point, let's change our colors, right, 1, 2, so that becomes 720, we're going to move this one, 3, 1, 2, 3, so that becomes 8,300, we're going to multiply those numbers. We could do it this way, but what if this was, instead of a 3, this was a 
30, and this was a 20. Look at all those extra zeros. Like I said, science deals with really big numbers. So instead of doing it this way, let's try it this way. The way we just learned. It's always good to try new things, right? Put our decimal points back. Let's multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. Right? 8 times 7 is 56. Add the 1 in, 57. Funky 7. I think I did that right. Draw the line. So, 6, 7, 9, 5. Decimal points. We've got two numbers behind the decimal point, so 1, 2. There's our new decimal point. Times 10 to the 5th. Not too hard. Now we have, we know we have five, well, how many things behind the decimal point? Five, right? Okay. Be right back. All right. We're going to try dividing by base 10 now. So what I have is 7.2 times 10 to the fourth and 1.2 times 10 to the negative three. We're going to break this up into some different problems here, okay? First of all, uh, and I'm going to use a different color, okay? We're going to separate this out. So it's 7.2 divided by, because these are really different math problems, divided by 1.2 times 10 to the fourth times 10 to the third. Remember, we bring this up from the denominator and change the sign. Now we're adding these two. So it becomes times 10 to the 7. Right? Now, this isn't as tricky as it looks. I'm going to remove this just because we need a little more room for some scratch work. Okay? Um, 1.2 goes into 7.2. We're going to move these decimal points because we can do that. And that turns into something that's very easy to do. 12 goes into 72. 6 times 6 times 12 is 72. So now we have 6. We're going to put our decimal point back in there. Times 0 times 10 to the 7 is our answer. This is going to take some practice. Okay? And we can do that. We'll do some practice. So don't stress about this. I want you to be comfortable. Get a thinking cap. It helps. Have a good night. Okay, I'm back. Now, we're packing a lot into this one, I know. It's important, to co I think, to cover multiplication and division at the same time. Let's do one more multiplication. Uh, we'll make the number easy. 1.6 times 10 to the 4 and 2.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Negative 2. Hmm. A little bit of a twist. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Add 1 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 3, 8, 6, 3. Who needs a calculator? Bring this down. 10. 2 plus 4 is 6. Up. Oh, negative sign. Don't forget this negative sign. What do we do? This is now neg is a negative or positive number? This is 4 minus 2, right? So we know it's a positive number. 
It's two. 